guys. Welcome to RoadTripStory.com. I'm here in St. Mary's, Georgia, and in the middle of a really cool ruins. Uh, hope you guys could ever come down to South Georgia and visit this. This is really important for historical and really just aesthetically. It's uh, a Tabby Mill ruins. Specifically, it's a sugar mill uh, production ruins. And this was around for really even before the Civil War. So we're going to talk about Tabby. It's not just a stack of cats that make this. It's actually these guys. So we're going to see what really is what it takes to really stack up uh, using this really special building material. Now, when you look at Tabby up close, there are not really a lot of these uh, structures left anymore, and you can really see why. This is made of natural shell, and this hole right here was. It looks like presumably was made for a support probably to either uh, help a container or something that was actually an additional building material to support the wall but you see the strata really of uh, the shells being bound together very fragile very rare type of uh, structure that's still standing not much left of it but as you go in here almost like a little playground per se see these ruins here um, just probably one area that might have been uh, preserved as storage a loading dock perhaps um, really, again, why this building is here was because of sugar production. And this was a huge, huge cash crop for really the fledgling colonial times, really up to the Civil War. And sugar, what it was made from was sugar cane. And to crush that and to refine it was being put into places like this. So you get to see these entrance ways. You can just imagine swarms of men coming in, usually and unfortunately were probably slaves in a lot of the building construction and just actually the routine maintenance daily. And you really could see these portals, just really vast areas here that, you know, again, you don't really see this in a lot of tabby ruins. There are a few in Florida um, that I know of that are state historic sites. This one actually is not per se a state, local, but again, it's something really that really needs to be preserved, really needs to be seen a lot more. So again, just going by, I think we just went in in three rooms now, just to how big that uh, this crop was really needed in the manufacture and how complex, even just at the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, how you had things like this that were here and even really uh, what was considered a backwater country at the time of the United States. This was uh, slowly uh, just in a decline of just being in disuse and over time, this is what you have left. So again, it's uh, just something that uh, you really just need to really come down here and see if possible. Really good little tour. You can take photos here. Uh, there's picnic tables here. It's actually right near the Kings Bay Submarine Base off of uh, off of one of kind of the spur roads in St. Mary. So it's very easy accessible, even off the interstate. So definitely recommend it here for a day trip or whatnot. And definitely uh, for this and any other adventures that you might like, you can check us out, James and Joseph, at roadtripstory.com.